I'm Father Joe Tetlow. I'm a Jesuit priest. I was ordained in 1960. Um, I now live in Lake Dallas at the Jesuit retreat house there. I've been involved in spiritual direction since I was 17 and was taught the Ignatian tradition. I later became um, charged with handing that tradition on to younger men. And I'm now giving retreats in the Ignatian manner to men and women, young and old. I think the simplest definition of spiritual direction to begin at the beginning is spiritual friendship. So two people who share interest in knowing God and knowing Jesus Christ will talk with each other about that. Beyond that, one of them may have some questions to ask and may go to a more experienced, perhaps an older, or perhaps someone who has studied the tradition to ask those questions about making progress. Spiritual direction itself is what happens within a tradition when someone goes to another to talk about making progress in that particular tradition. So in ours, spiritual direction is learning how to make progress in knowing Jesus Christ better, loving him more, and, and growing more like him as he lived in his pilgrimage on earth. Who would benefit from spiritual direction? First of all, I would say to meet regularly with the spiritual director suggests that you're already praying and you have committed yourself to have an interior life. That would be important. Who would benefit from it? Only those, I think, who want to keep growing in God, keep growing in Jesus Christ, making progress. If you have no intention to keep growing in Jesus Christ, then it may be therapeutic, but it will not be spiritual direction. Pray. How, how much of a prayer do I need to be before I go to spiritual direction? My answer to that is, I think if you're interested in praying and are doing it, then you will know it would be helpful to have spiritual direction. I would warn people against this. Jesus Christ never said, pray better. Some people come and say, I want to learn how to pray better. I tell them, you came to the wrong person. Jesus didn't even say, pray well. All he said was, pray always. So spiritual direction, as far as prayer goes, is number one, helping you know how everything you do all day long is prayer. And number two, if you are a prayer within a certain tradition, I may be able to help you within that tradition learn how to get along and make progress in prayer there. But, but understand that prayer is as natural to us as breathing is. We don't have to be taught how to pray. We have only to be invited to start praying and then to be helped to become more conscious of, of our prayer. I think myself that the contribution that I make to world peace is directly to the individual who comes to talk with me and to ask me to listen to him or her. And the great point there is compassion. What spiritual direction of itself offers to world peace, I think, is it brings people to the point of being deeply compassionate and deepening in that compassion. To know and love Jesus Christ is to know that everyone is being molded by his spirit in his image, so that we are all very much the same in that. World peace has to be built on compassion we have to come to recognize that every one of us is in a fix of one kind or another, and we all need to be compassionate with each other. This, as a matter of fact, is what Jesus meant when he said, be like your heavenly Father. We can't be perfectly pure. We can't be infinite. We can be completely compassionate, and that's what Jesus said. And I think that's what spiritual direction offers to world peace.
the first thing that nourishes me in my journey as a spiritual director is a long time to pray every morning. I get up early, I have to sometimes struggle to keep things at bay, but I go to prayer and I stay there for an hour and I try to let nothing stand in the way of that. I urge anyone who's in spiritual direction, who's giving it, to do that same. The second thing is conversation, spiritual friends. I have a lot of them and they mean a lot to me. They mean everything to me, really. Often I come up against a question that I really don't know whether I know the answer or not. And I'll talk with one of them and we'll, and I'll realize that I had the answer, but I wasn't sure of it, or I didn't have the answer. So it was just as well that I wasn't sure of it. So spiritual friends is the second thing. And then the third thing that nourishes me is what I said about growing in spirit. I have to read. It occurred to me in, in an SDI meeting one time that I'm addicted to print. Some people are addicted to cigarettes. I was at one time. Some people are addicted to alcohol. Some people, I'm addicted to print. Um, if I could read while I was driving, I would. And I have to let go of that, but I must keep reading. I must keep reading. 